according to the best unbiased science, does replacing animal protein with plant protein reduce risk of death and disease? Yes, so uh, this question, there are, there are a couple of studies that I think are worth mentioning. So the first study was a Harvard study that I mentioned earlier. And this Harvard study uh, compared, it did exactly that, replacing animal protein with plant protein. And as I mentioned, we saw a risk reduction in terms of mortality that was very, very significant. So, so we know that with this particular uh, study, 130,000 individuals followed for 30 years, replacing just 3%, that's about 60 calories in a 2,000 calorie diet, with uh, plant protein, reduced risk of death by 34% if you were replacing processed meat, 19%. With, with eggs, 12% with unprocessed meat, 8% with dairy, 6% with fish and, and uh, poultry. Now there was a second study that just came out in 2019 from Japan and the, the, the numbers were unbelievable. So you're looking at, again, replacing 3% of calories from animal protein with plant protein, they saw a 34% reduction in mortality if it came from red meat and a 42% reduction in mortality if it came from processed meat. They also looked at cancer. 46% reduction in cancer with unprocessed red meat and a 50% reduction in cancer with processed red meat. Uh, with processed red meat. And we're talking about 3% of calories. That is phenomenal results. And there are many other studies that have looked at this and consistently show for almost every disease you can think of, for cancers, for diabetes, for heart disease, that replacing animal protein with plant protein reduces risk. You mentioned the Seventh Day Adventists. Can you explain more about their health study and, and what its conclusions were? Was this study an important one? Well, first I'll say this study is one of the most important studies for the plant-based world as far as I'm concerned. And I, and I should qualify that statement. This is not one study. This is dozens and dozens of studies. So first of all, we had the, Ad, the Adventist uh, mortality study. And this was a study many years ago that actually just compared Adventists with other people in California. This was the Loma Linda Adventist with other you know, people doing the standard thing in California. And they found that the Adventists were at a tremendous advantage in terms of longevity and, and various diseases. And then they did the, health, the Adventist Health Study 1. And that looked at, well, why? What is it that gives Adventists the advantage? And so they found that you know, it was exercise. It was smoking less. It was, it, it was, you know, just all of these things, but it was also diet and eating a more plant-strong diet that provided the protection in this case. And then the biggie, the Adventist Health Study 2. And this study began in 2002 and is still ongoing, 96,000 individuals. And what they did in this study is they compared just Adventists, but the Adventists who eat meat with the Adventists who are semi-vegetarian, who are pesco-vegetarian, or, or basically follow a vegetarian diet plus fish, uh, who are lacto-ovo-vegetarian, so they eat eggs and milk versus the vegans, and followed them for many years to see who within this cohort actually develops disease. And so it's such a fair comparison because they all tend to, they, they control for you know, how much coffee do you drink? How much do you exercise? How much alcohol do you drink? How much do you smoke? That's all controlled for. These are all health conscious individuals. And, and so when you compare the meat eaters with the vegans, the differences you're looking at are the differences in what their, their diet is like. And the one thing I have to say is the Adventist meat eaters eat a lot less meat than the general population. So we're looking at smaller intakes of meat. So it makes the findings even more impressive, in my view. And what did they find? Well, they found that compared to the meat-eating Adventists, the vegans had 62% less diabetes. 
They, they had 16% less cancer. They, they had 75% less hypertension. Uh, the men had, uh, you know, I think it was 42% less heart disease. Uh, they had about, the vegetarians and vegans combined, about half the rates of kidney disease. Uh, and it just goes on. They're finding that people eating plant-based had a really significant advantage over the people eating animal products. And so, yes, a very important study, and we can expect to see more, you know, reports from this cohort as, uh, as time goes on.